In this video, we're going to look at some of my quick and easy tips to make your reports look and feel like an app. I'm going to talk you through each one of them and how you can implement them for yourself. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Frenan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So Power BI gives a lot of tools to design your reports. And in fact, a lot of my videos cover report design tips and tricks. And today we're going to look at the few simple techniques that you can implement to make your reports seem and feel like an app. The first one that you can do is to use custom images and backgrounds. So Power BI visual elements like buttons, fonts, or even backgrounds can be very limiting, especially if you want to customize reports beyond changing colors or transparency, for example. Power BI allows you to import your own custom visual elements which help overcome this limitation, giving you more ways to customize the look and feel of your reports. So take advantage of the state animations that Power BI provides with its buttons, where you can customize certain elements when a button is hovered on or when they're clicked. This gives your reports a bit more of a responsive feel similar to how an app does. You can also use techniques like creating a hidden pop-up menu for your reports, which is this effect when you open up a context menu in apps, will blur the reports and it will show you the menu in front of everything else. It's surprisingly easy to implement using just the options in Power BI Desktop. And I've covered it in detail in a separate video. So if you wanted to use it for yourself, go check out that one. I know that Power BI already has panes for page navigation, but tabs within your report pages give you a lot more options to customize them. And they can also be used to trigger more than just going to other pages. So if you're thinking about using these, check out these videos. With the background and visual elements in the page, yes, Power BI gives you shapes to play with so you can add visual flair in your reports. But a long while ago, I learned that actually uploading my own backgrounds with all the static elements in there is way more efficient as it reduces the number of visuals that are being rendered in the page. Beyond it being very easy to implement and efficient, you also have way more options with shapes, colors, and icons. So if you want to learn more about how to do it, I covered it in a separate video. Another visual element that you can use are tool tips. And by default, Power BI gives you some tooltip options. But did you know that you can create a custom tooltip with its own separate visuals? Tooltips are great in giving additional details to your users, which is in the context of the data you are pointing at that maybe couldn't fit in that page. And a report with its own custom tooltip, I think, can help in giving reports an app-like feel. Lastly, you should think about customizing your reports for mobile view. This one may not be so obvious, but your reports are viewable from your own mobile phone through the Power BI app. Viewing reports on the big screen though is not the same as viewing it in a mobile phone screen. Power BI Desktop allows you to customize mobile views of your reports so it's optimized to show data suitable for small screens. The Power BI team has been improving the mobile formatting options and, and it does give a fair bit of customization options without adding a lot of extra development efforts. You can create an entirely different format in mobile view for reports and even have formatting that only applies in mobile view. And that's really it for this short video. I hope these tips have helped you or given you inspiration in how to design your reports and make your reports look and feel like an app. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really liked this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.